the volcanic islands of Indonesia act as a frontier between two great rivals. On one side are the sun-drenched rainforests, teeming with a variety of unique inhabitants. From crab-eating macaques to the giant dragons of Komodo, their isolation has led to a dazzling array of adaptations. Throughout these enchanted islands, land and sea constantly test each other along a shoreline that spans thousands of miles. In this tropical setting, the equatorial sun magnifies the power of earth and ocean, resulting in an explosion of life. These unprecedented reefs are home to over 2,000 fish species. A single dive, 283 different kinds of fish were counted here, a new world record. And it's here our journey begins as we explore this remote archipelago in search of Indonesia's mysterious Leviathan. Indonesia's spectacular reefs are the result of strong ocean currents which constantly bring new arrivals. Creatures of every shape and size settle on the reef to take advantage of its bounty. Colorful crustaceans hide atop the soft coral. Not all reef residents are small. Humphead parrotfish grow to enormous size, feeding on the coral itself. This critically endangered hawksbill turtle has traveled thousands of miles on tropical currents to get here. Feeding primarily on sponges and other reef invertebrates, this hungry hawksbill serves up plenty of leftovers for his loyal following. Having satisfied his appetite, this ancient traveler scrutinizes the cameraman with an intense curiosity. Most fish have traveled every bit as far as our hawksbill. Passive diners, like these garden eels, wait for bits of food to drift by, while others search more actively for a meal. They all ride the strong currents as larvae before settling on these reefs, adding to the richness of life here. The heart of this ecosystem is the coral itself. Like living limestone sculptures, coral reefs actually consist of tiny polyps, each one a separate organism. The reef is much like an ancient city. There's a maze of narrow lanes and back streets for a predator to explore. These complex structures have led to a dazzling array of adaptations to hunt and escape being hunted. Seahorses and pipefish specialize in camouflage, able to precisely match the color and texture of their surroundings. Frogfish move about like self-propelled rocks with a painfully slow top speed. But they're equipped with an enormous mouth and are capable of lightning fast strikes. By comparison, the flying gurnard is turbocharged. Using specialized fins, they walk along the bottom, dislodging small invertebrates from the sand. Lionfish prowl the reefs with impunity thanks to their poisonous spines. These voracious predators are quick to gobble up anything they can fit in their mouths. Cephalopods, like this wonderpus, have diversified into bizarre forms. This flamboyant cuttlefish advertises its toxicity with blazing color patterns across its skin. 
Cuttlefish can change the color, pattern, and even texture of their body at a moment's notice. Looking like an alien spacecraft, this cuttlefish uses its dazzling display to freeze its victim while it strikes. We head for deeper, colder waters in a final attempt to get a glimpse of the elusive Leviathan. We encounter a manta ray, not the mystery creature we're looking for, but a giant nonetheless. Below 120 feet, we catch our first glimpse its massive frame dwarfing the divers. It's the majestic Mola Mola, a deep water behemoth who rises occasionally for a cleaning. A fitting end to our search for Indonesia's mysterious Leviathan. <laughs>